Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how to turn off mentions, notifications in Messages app on your iPhone and iPad. Mentions is one of the newer features that Apple has added to iMessage, which are particularly helpful with group conversations. But if you are in a lot of group conversations on iMessage, and you may want to turn off notifications for these mentions and that's easy to do on iPhone and iPad. If you had previously muted some of the group conversations you are a part of in iMessage, you will now get notifications from them when someone mentions you in the chat. This may be certainly a useful feature for many users as it allows them to participate only in conversations that are relevant to them. However, this could annoy some users, especially if mentions are being overly used by one of the members in the group. Thankfully, you can disable these notifications pretty easily if they bother you. Let me show you how is done the quick way. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. To get going, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. After that, you have to scroll down and then choose messages. Here, if you scroll down, you will find a setting for mentions. Simply set the toggle for notify me to disabled and you are good to go. There you go. You will no longer get notifications from groups even if you are mentioned. Keep in mind that this setting will only be useful if you have already muted the group conversation. If you haven't muted the conversation, open the messages app on your iPhone or iPad. Then swipe left on the conversation or thread that you want to mute and then tap on the bell icon. That's pretty much it. From now onwards, you will no longer receive mentions, notifications in messages on your iOS or iPad OS device. Of course, if you ever want to get them, simply head over to the messages settings and then turn on the toggle right next to notify me. If you have found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy iOS and iPad OS hacks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.